This will be my third day on the project. I picked up some siding the other day, uh, last night, and brought it home, stuffed it in the trailer here. You can see it here, I'll show you in a minute. And I got some screws to hold it on. I got these ones here. I didn't get the auto drilling ones because I think that they have a tendency to wander and I want them to be as clean as possible. So I'm gonna pre-drill my holes and then use these ones. And since I can't sink the screw into the material because it's too thin, I'm gonna use these ones that are just gonna be nice caps on the exterior. I also picked up this roll of like strip insulation. It's not very thick, it's just this foam, but it's fairly solid. Uh, so I'll be able to put it along these beams here. I'm gonna split this roll in half, and then put the roll, put them down these beams and just kind of tape it on and then hold it down with the siding and hopefully it'll it'll just give a little bit of a thermal barrier between this and the siding. It's not it's not gonna be much, but it might help a little bit. I was just gonna tape the seams, but I'm gonna go with this instead. The siding I got is quarter inch about $17 a sheet. Each of these sheet weighs, I don't know, 25 pounds or so. But I'm, not, I'm not sure about the weight, I didn't weigh it, but it's about as light as I could find. I found some eighth inch, but it was twice as much for some reason. So one side is this nice clean, kind of reddish color. Then I put that to the interior, and then I've got a pre-primed on the other side that would be good to paint if I decided to paint it. I haven't decided yet, but for at least for this trip, I don't have time to paint it because this thing will smell like a uh, a paint shop if I paint it now and then it, it won't have time to degas before we need to use it So I'm gonna put the nice side to the interior. Hopefully we don't beat it up too much before I get a chance to seal it up Let's Move on and start putting this in on what I'm up to. I'm cutting all the panels in here. The wife decided she wanted all the panels to be vertical. Makes sense. I was going to put them in there in a little more efficient of a manner, but it'll, it'll work this way. And so all, I need five panels that are six feet tall by approximately four feet wide. So I'm going to cut. I've already got one cut. I'm doing the other four. So I stacked the panels up, got them all nice and even, and then I clamped the board on there to hold them together. And I measured the width from my blade to the, to, uh, the edge of the of the plate underneath the blade. This this width here from from the inside from uh, the inside of the blade here to there, I measured that width and then I, I take that off of the total length and then clamp the board on and then the board works as a guide and I can cut a nice straight line all at once to cut these five boards or these this is a stack of four right here for the all the initial side portions. So I'm going to continue with this and uh, we'll get on to the next piece. Now I've got my interior siding basically figured out. It's just taped on to, to make it all fit. I haven't quite got the electrical behind it, but it's about to rain outside, so I'm trying to get most of it done. Uh, I've got one more sheet of plywood. I actually need two. I didn't realize I was short one, so I have to go on another trip to the hardware store, get another one, because that front piece I won't quite finish with one sheet. Sucks. But I'm going to do two vertical sheets, so I'll have a split in the middle here on this side, and it won't be quite... Won't be quite as wide. And then I got to do some sort of trim thing in the corner. I do have the aluminum trim that was originally on here that I might use. And you can see here, I've got these two vertical straps. Those vertical straps are made out of uh, 3 16 by two inch uh, steel strips. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna frame, I'm gonna panel over them and then use those as the back supports for my uh, for my bed frame. So I'll be able to drill through the paneling and then tap a hole into it and then I'll be able to thread a bolt into that and it'll make a good solid paneling. I was going to put it on the exterior of the paneling but it'll be nicer if it's on the interior then the interior wall is smooth and I can just bolt into it with like angle brackets to hold up my bed frames. So that's what those are for. I'm actually going to put a third one in the center where they come together. So I'll have three on the front. Uh, I ordered uh, three of them from the guy. I only got two but I got a couple of shorter pieces here. So I cut one of them off and then weld it together and then I'll have three sections or maybe I'll just put one section in the middle, wherever I need it. And uh, so I need to get on, I have to weld that and then I'll be able to get the rest of this done, hopefully. All right, I'm making a jig to drill my boards for my trim. I've cut 
a bunch of trim boards that are just strips of that uh, plywood that I had as extra or, you know, I needed trim. So they're just these two inch wide strips. And so I want an even set of holes down these. And so what I've done is I've clamped this board on here. I've measured out uh, from this board to the center of the drill bit is an inch. And the center of the drill bit is lined up on the edge of this board. I've marked a half inch line here for my first hole. So I'll take my drill press and I'll put this here and I'll drill a hole a half an inch in. Okay, so that's the first hole. If I take a half an inch off each side, I, I should have a, an even uh, number of holes if I use five inch spacing after this, because that gives me 95 inches out of my eight foot strip and the 95 divided is 19 holes. So we're gonna do the next hole. I'm gonna take this hole and line it up with this mark here, which is five inches from the end of the board. And I'm gonna drill my next hole. And now these holes are five inches apart and I could just go down the line and drill five inch apart holes. And I'm gonna measure them to make sure I'm right. Yes, five inches. And so I'm just gonna go down the whole strip that way. And there we go. I had to turn it around to get that last one to make it easier. I ended up with a little bit of spacing differences, probably just because of my accuracy by spacing these just by eye off these holes. But that, generally speaking, is a good clean strip with five inch spacing, one inch on center. I'm going to do four or five more of these because I need to do the top and bottom trim. I'll get back to you. Okay.